Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of April, so this could happen at any time in April, okay? We're just going to do this a little bit differently this time. I'm just going to see whatever comes up because that's how I do my readings, but we're going to start right here. What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for some time in April? Oh, yay. Chaos and conflict. So, chaos and conflict, that card pretty much stands for itself. You know, it explains itself pretty well. Um, we're talking about April 2021. I'm going to go ahead and read that card to see what this book has to say. But, you know, it's pretty self-explainable, right? 33. Now, to me, 33 is mind, body, and spirit union. It also, you know, 3 is an ascended master's number. So there's some, there's, there's some sort of help from the ascended masters. They hear you. They hear you. So you may have some sort of protection here. But let me go ahead and read that card. Essential. Disarray. Being at cross purposes with another the tension of opposites the value of chaos before order opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere but consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it scattered to the winds you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. It's kind of like a tower moment. Conflict provides a way to see more than just one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. Stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. This is the opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, and what's really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before. For the storm will have passed, blazing a new path for new growth in its wake. This can be electric and enlightened. Always better than before if you use this time constructively. Circumstances appear to be chaotic, but everything that is happening now is the truth shaking things up so you can find the real path to your prosperity. Yes, it's stormy, and it feels if there are opposing forces wherever you turn, but reassured that there is divine purpose in this chaos. Everything that doesn't work is being taken from you, so the truest parts of yourself remain. The events occurring now are, are essential for your ultimate prosperity. This chaos is divinely inspired even though it doesn't appear that way right now. In time, you will know this to be true. So, this is a tower moment. Okay, so this is, it, it is, I mean, what, it is what it is. A new path is going to be laid out. Don't fight it.
the sun. The sun. Now the sun, there is protection here. There is protection. The sun is a card of enlightenment, joy, happiness, renewal. Um, it is a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. It's a new day. So it's a time of growth, right? It's summertime, okay? Summertime, the sun represents summertime. Some, and by summertime, you will be very, very happy, okay? You'll be in your glory by summertime. But you have to get through this first. So this is a time of chaos and conflict that you need to deal with, okay? You're going to deal with it whether you like it or not. Because your happiness is more important. It's the most important thing. You will be glowing by summertime. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? King of Cups reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Six of Swords reversed. Five of Wands. Knight of Coins reversed. Page of Swords. Star knew there was protection here. There is absolutely some protection here. The star is protection. Protection from above. Okay, so there is some sort of protection. You are going to heal from this, whatever it is. You are going to heal. This is a healing energy. It's a wish being granted. When I was talking about the Ascended Masters at the beginning, 333 to me is your prayers have been heard. And the star card is about prayers as well. I would use this time to pray because I think that you are in a very troublesome situation. Could be with a child. Could be with a person. That, it doesn't have to be a child. This could be somebody that is emotionally immature, okay? This is somebody that is emotionally immature. You know, this person is emotionally unavailable. They are cold. They are withdrawn. They're secretive. They don't have good intentions. Uh, this is somebody that um, is not really stable okay or they don't want a commitment with the with the knight of coins reverse and the eight of ace of coins reverse this is somebody that is unstable probably emotionally unstable okay um this person maybe you may be fighting with this person there could be some tension with this person i feel like the universe is trying to protect you from this person so they're going to cause chaos and conflict to force you to move on from this person, okay? Uh, but I don't think you've been able to move on from this person because, you know, this person must give you something. They must give you some, maybe it's money. I'm not sure if they give you money or they give you some sort of financial stability. There's, there's something that this person gives to you. They give you a lot of trouble, that's for sure, because the Six of Swords is right there. This person um, is probably not truly your friend. With the Page of Swords, I feel like they're very combative. Um, they may fight with you a lot. I, f I feel like uh, this person may have been keeping you stuck. They may have been keeping you uh, in a place where, you know, you're not free and you're meant to be free. There's, there's freedom here with the Sun card. So I do think that you are going to be breaking free of an individual that... Um, is probably very cold. I feel like this person is cold-hearted. Um, they, they are, they may, may have some mental problems. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with the Six of Swords and the Page of Wands, or Page of Swords. This person may be, um, you know, troubled. This person may be troubled, and, and that's why they're so combative. Anyhow, I feel like I feel like this month you are probably going to um, be going back and forth with this prob this problem, this person. This is this is a person that um, is not emotionally 
grounded okay they're not emotionally available and this is it's almost like it's a permanent loss with that ace of coins reverse it, it, it is I mean it's and I think it's unplanned I think I do I think it's unplanned I feel like you are meant to be happy you are meant to be free you are meant to be shining and I feel like that's why this is happening I feel like you're gonna be fighting with this person and I, I think it's going to be a, a, a serious battle. I think this person is trying to stop you from something. It's like they're trying to stop you from uh, getting what you want, getting having your dreams fulfilled. You're dealing with somebody that is unrealistic. They're irresponsible. They may be afraid of commitment. They don't really want a commitment or they don't commit themselves this person uh, drops out, you know, they drop out when the going gets rough, you know, they or they be really, really mean, you know, they may, they may use emotional blackmail as a tactic. Um, I do feel like this month you're probably going to be forced to let this person go. This person could be letting you go. They could be picking fights with you. Um, it could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, there could also be an X here. Uh, the Knight of Coins in reverse is an X. There could be an X that is causing problems. Um, maybe, maybe you're with somebody that isn't committing because of their X. Um, Knight of Coins reversed. Um, we have somebody here that is irresponsible. Um, they probably are very greedy and cheap. You know, this person doesn't want to spend their money. They don't want to, or they, they, you fight, there could be fighting over money here, okay? There could be fighting over money. And money is not the most important thing, but I think whoever you are with is more focused on money than they are focused on, you know, uh, a relationship. It doesn't feel like this person is focused on a relationship at all, whoever it is that you're dealing with. They're focused on their money, okay? They're focused on what you can do for them, okay? Um, I do feel like there's protection here, and I think that you are being guided. We have a light twice. The sun and the star both represent light. There's a guiding light here. There is protection. You are being guided out of a situation that is unstable. It is unrealistic. It's... Uh, doesn't it's not gonna last it's not long term there's a lack of abundance and you deserve to to be abundant so I do believe that you are going to be fighting with somebody okay and I feel like whoever this person is it's almost like they don't want to let you go but they don't love you you know so it's, it's really really weird it is weird it's like it, it, and they may say that they love you but I think those are just words I'm just being honest and this is about honesty. These are words. They're words. It's not real. Anyhow, I feel like there could be some news of legalities this week or this month for you. You could receive some news of legalities. I think there is a message that is coming that it probably is not what you want to hear. That's what's going to start this this chaos okay you, you could be somebody that is younger could be a child that starts problems because this is starts trouble it's a troublemaker this is trouble this is a troublemaker so you may be dealing with a troublemaker it could be somebody's child you know or something like that somebody starts trouble and in all chaos you know happens um i feel like uh you are going to be dealing with some conflicts But you do have a new beginning here. You do with the sun card. You have a new beginning. But you are but 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 before you have that new beginning, you're gonna be letting something go. Okay? This is something you had that is not valuable to you anymore. It's not serving you. It's not solid. It's not meant to be. Okay? And this is protection. It is protection from you know a higher power. Okay, this is unexpected help. It is. The star card is unexpected help. After the tower falls, this is the tower. We already established that. 
okay? That is the tower. This comes after the tower. The star comes right after the tower card in the tarot deck. This is unexpected help from above, okay? They are protecting you from this person that is literally emotionally unavailable. This person is secretive. And it feels like they use emotional blackmail on you to uh, get you to think that you you can't leave or that you're not valuable or something like that. Anyhow, I feel like this this month you're going to be dealing with some some sort of uh, chaos surrounding this person that you're dealing with. Um, and I feel like this per it feels like this person doesn't want to let you go, but they're not emotionally available. Which is odd. What's well, not odd? I've been there. So I feel sorry for whoever's going through this. Anyhow, um, we have a cold, detached individual here who is watching. Okay, they are... Uh, it feels like they're... It's almost like they're trying to beat the enemy at their own game. This is it feels like this person just wants the power, wants control. You're going to be giving deep, deep, deep thought to a relationship this month. You are dealing with somebody that does not have good intentions. This person may be causing you depression, anxiety, despair. This is like a nightmare. I still gotta do that window. The other window. Um, but there is protection. There is protection. You are going to be guided out of this situation. You are. There's been a delay, though. I think there's been a delay in you getting out of this situation because maybe you weren't being practical. Maybe you weren't being realistic. Maybe you didn't have the financial stability to do so. I do feel like um, you're dealing with somebody that is obsessed Okay, this person is obsessed. You're obs I feel like this person is obsessed with control. And they're obsessed with money as well. You're dealing with somebody that is obsessed with money. You know, that's their biggest obsession. And I think that, you know, you're probably having regrets. You're probably having regrets for dealing with this person from the beginning. Anyhow, it's time for closure. Nines are closure. It's time for closure. It's time for you to stop procrastinating. And I think you've been procrastinating. But I feel like, I feel like this month, you know, it's, it's time. It's time to just let this go. And I think that you're going to. And I think the universe is here to help. There's help arriving. There's unexpected help from above. Could be from a mother or a father. More likely a father. Could be a mother. There is definitely protection here. This is, this is a battle that you don't need to fight. It feels like you've been fighting a lot with somebody. Eight of Wands reversed. Oh my God. This is not good news. This is, this is mean words being said or lack of communication or no contact, you know, no communication. You know, you could be dealing with somebody who tries to punish you. You may be feeling guilty. You may be feeling guilty for something. It's almost like, I, you know the way I see it? It's like, I, I, it feels like I wish I never would have got involved with this. I think you're dealing with somebody that is uh, holding you back from your own happiness. And I feel like there's serious regrets here. 
I feel like you, you've been wanting to go in another direction, but you have it, and that's why the universe is bringing this tower moment. They're going to cause some sort of disruption in your life to force you to break free from whatever this is. Somebody could end up getting blocked or, or going no contact. You know, you could be dealing with somebody that, you know, closes themselves down emotionally to you. They just shut down. They just shut down completely because the King of Cups reverse doesn't communicate, uh, withdraws, detaches. In reverse, this is somebody who just stops. Somebody could just stop um, communicating with you. You know, they just go no contact. Okay. Um, and that could be causing you a lot of stress. And and you know, and this could be somebody that you're actually with and they just they just start to withdraw. They just start to withdraw their communication. They they start I mean you know, I don't see any love here. None. I do believe that whoever maybe the one that you are dealing with is feeling guilty or they have they have regrets. Somebody has regrets. They have serious regrets for investing, you know. Things are going to come to a stop. Just saying, I can, this is a stop, and this is a stop, and this is a stop. Stop, stop, stop. So something is going to come to a stop. And, and I think it's going to be, um, it's obviously going to cause chaos for you. Somebody may say stop. They may put up that stop light and be like, stop. Just stop. You know? There is going to be a tower moment. But everything happens for a reason. This may have to, it may have to do with a child. It may start with a child. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't, who, it could just be this person is, is, uh, emotionally immature you know this could be a young soul could be it's kind of like a man in a child's body no no that's backwards it's a, a child in a man's body that's what it is I'm sorry it's a child in a man's body that's exactly what it is or woman, okay? It could be same. This is somebody who acts like a child, put it that way. They don't accept responsibility. They don't. They don't accept responsibility for their actions. They probably blame everything on you. They don't want to take responsibility. So I do believe that there is going to be an uproar. There is going to be a fight with this person. And you have to let go. You have to drop this. You have to. This is not something that is going to lead to abundance. And the universe wants you to be abundant. So I think that things are going to come to us a halt. And I think that you have been reluctant to take a new approach. You have. Maybe you've been reluctant to tell this person to stop. You could be dealing with somebody that is obsessed with you. And you need to just tell them to stop. Don't lead them on. Maybe you've been communicating with this person leading them on. Don't lead them on. Go no contact. When you do that, you're telling if when you give them any type of ammo, you're leading them on. You may, may have to go no contact, no contact. Protect yourself. So some of you, you know, bring it on yourself. You do. If when you engage, this is like tug of war, right? This is a game. This is competition. You know, you've been competing with somebody for the win. You have. And it's been a serious power struggle. Let it go. Be like, you know what? I'm not playing this game. I'm not playing. Don't don't communicate. Did I say beating the enemy at its own game? If I didn't, I was thinking it. You know, but you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be truthful. You have to be truthful with the person as well. 
If you're not, and maybe it's you that's not in love. Somebody here isn't in love with the person that they are talking to or that they live with or whatever. Be honest. Be upfront. If you're not in love with the person that is obsessed with you, be honest and upfront. The universe, which is the tower, is going to cause an uproar so that you have to face the truth. It is time to move on. But this is reluctant to take a new approach. So some of you have been reluctant to take a new approach. It is time to go. So, or it's time for you to say, no, stop. I'm not interested. So I feel like this month, you have to find your moral backbone. You, and I'm a Taurus too, need to find your moral backbone to say no. You need to not go down that dead end. There is a blockage right down, okay? There's a blockage, 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 blockage that is standing in the way of your happiness. It's standing in the way of you achieving your goals. It's standing in the way of your success, of your abundance. And you have not planned sufficiently it's almost like you've become lazy. You need to focus. You need to focus. Tell whoever this person is that you're not interested. Act with integrity. Good luck.